bit of a golden rule for any of you. So if you go to page uh, 25 of your match tables, you'll see the bottom three parts here. Okay? And these are key rules for doing these questions. Okay? Now, first question we have is sine inverse 6x. Now, the thing about your tables is there's a missing part. Your tables doesn't give you the full story, and you're more than welcome to write this in now if you want. Just write down DDX bracket behind each one. I'll explain what that means. Okay, so there's a missing part that makes it not able to work. So Joe, we went to page 25 of your tables and we saw that cos inverse, sine inverse and tan inverse all have a specific differentiation formula. Okay? Now, we're currently on y equals sine inverse 6x. Which equation does that mean I'm going to be using? A, B or C? I'm going to be using B all day long. Okay? Now we'll look at B and here's the golden rule for this question. Always make A equal to 1. Always. So, would you would ever agree that's 6x over 1? Does that make sense? So, here's what we're going to do. The y dx is, would ever agree the a value is 1? So, anywhere we see a, what do we write down? 1. So, you agree with 1 squared? Now, we don't have x, do we? What do we have instead? Anywhere you see x, replace it with 6x. Are we cool with that? Next thing. When you differentiate x, what you get as what you get as your answer when you differentiate x? Just x on its own. One. All of these would be one. That's why they're not put in. Because they don't matter. But we don't have one. What do we have? Why was you differentiate six x? Yeah. And there's your six there. So what's your answer for this question then? Six over the square root of 1 minus 36x squared. You kill cool with that? Alright. I will do... You guys do part 2 now on your own. You're going to be using equation C and make sure that A is set to, zero, is set to 1. Oh, sorry, I, I, I wrote down the wrong one, didn't I? I, I, I wasn't doing that, I was doing x squared and not 3x. Alright. Now, is everybody happy that a gets replaced with 1? Because it's 3x over 1, isn't it? So, anywhere you see an a, a gets replaced with 1. Now, what's the problem with x? What do we have instead? We have 3x instead, so what does that mean? That would be 3x to b. But we also got to remember to differentiate the 3x. And what do we get? 3. And did anybody get an answer of 3 over 1 plus 9x squared? Great. We're on a roll. You alright with that? Okay. Now, question 2. Have a go. Sir? Yeah. Huh? I oh, know. See, see the red part I put in? I asked you to write that in beside the formula book because it's not included and I actually mentioned why it wasn't included. So. So proof questions are great because you know if you're right or wrong. Now, uh, as Joe was made aware earlier, there's two things that are not in these notes. You can write them in now if you want. You always put A equal to 1. You can write that in your tables if you want. And the next thing is, there's a missing differentiation part at the, ba at the back. Okay? And that's what you're going to remember, okay? Now, we're going to choose sine inverse. So, 
instead of uh, this is going to be over 1 so the a value is going to be 1 again isn't it so it's going to be 1 divided by the square root of a squared which would be 1 squared but instead of x what do we have what do we have we have 3x minus 1 instead of x and what happens when you differentiate 3x minus 1 you just get 3 do you and Aaron, the tree works on the numerator, not the denominator. Okay? And who got this far? Okay. Multiply at the top. Uh, just multiply out the bottom as well while we're at it. It's going to be 1 minus 6x squared minus 6x plus 1. 9x squared. Thank you. And then the answer is 3 divided by the square root of what, lads? What's it? Minus 9x squared? Plus 6x? And the 1's cancel? And that's your answer? Is that what you wanted from us? I set the opposite way around, which is, which is the same thing. They look horrible, but they're actually not. Too bad once you follow the two rules. Alright, let's see where it gets worse. Yeah, alright. Uh, lads, up to you guys. Uh, here, I'll just start this off. Do a chain rule. Bring the two to the front, reduce the chain to the power of one, and then differentiate sine inverse in behind. And you should be able to have a good attempt at this without me helping you. So we're on one, two, and six now so far. Come on, you. 1, 2, and 6. So, when you differentiate, use the chain rule. Bring the 2 to the front. You better sign inverse x to the power of 1 now, isn't it? Now, what happened was, it used to be, there used, it used to be sign in, uh, one of the, you have to differentiate the sign inverse x as well. So, we got to differentiate that. And we just go, no bother. I'll have this one here. What's the a value? Because it's x over 1, isn't it? So what can I put here then? 1 over the square root of? 1 squared minus x squared. And when you tidy it up, what happens? It just turns to the answer you have above. And almost disappointing, to be honest. Isn't it? 1, 2, and 6. All right. Ooh, what question is that one? I seem to blurt out the picture. Any idea, Charlie? 11. Alright. Why don't you have a crack? Differentiate it twice. One, two, six, and eleven. Okay, so y is equal to tan inverse x, tan inverse x over 1, implies your a value is 1, implies that the derivative is 1 over 1 squared plus x squared, which is simply 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now, you have a choice, you can do, the, who did the quotient drill? You and V, no bother, uh, I'm lazier than you guys. What's 1 over Kenny? Kenny to the power of? So I'm actually going to turn it into a chain and just be lazy about it. But you can definitely do the quotient drill. It works. But for speed, uh, I would definitely go for a chain rule in this situation. So what do I do to the minus 1? Bring it forward. Take 1 away from the power. Minus 2. You also got to differentiate the, the what's in there, don't you? So what do we get? 2x. And what's minus 1 times 2x? And because that's the power of minus 2, I can just bring it back underneath again. Is that what you got, Chaddy? Yeah. So it's the same as the quotient drill, but I think it's just a bit quicker. It's your, your choice. How do you know where it's like stopped, like multiplying? Uh, I'm looking at the answer. See the answer? And I'm taking, okay, so second derivative 
gets multiplied by what? Second derivative gets multiplied by 1 plus x squared. And see the way they sort of cancel each other a little bit? That cancels the squared. Okay? And then 2x multiplies by the first derivative. And what is the first derivative? Times 1 over. 2x times 1 is just. Now what do we know about both numbers now? They'll cancel each other, won't they? Same denominator. Minus 2x plus 2x. It's going into zero all day long. Is that okay with you guys? Now, question four is a weird one, all right? And, do you know, like, question four can be done easier, all right? But, do you know why I have, what's my rule again? What's my rule, no matter what? A is always one, all right? Sometimes it, be, it can be quicker. So, for example, in this question here, see uh, part two. All right. The answer is. Sorry. Where's the? Uh, here it is. Like the answer is because it looks so similar. Cuts. Oh, Jesus. To be honest, we're not going to mess this up. I'm just going to keep using A's one because I just don't want to mess anything up. All right. So did everybody agree that's x over 4 divided by 1? I know everybody would be tempted to use a equals 4, wouldn't you? Any logic would say a equals 4. Just do it the same way all the time and you'll never have an issue, okay? So what we're going to say here is that uh, a is once again 1. So it's 1 over 1 squared plus, what is it? Yeah, but I, I would have x squared, but what do I have instead? So all over, x plus 4 squared. And we also have to differentiate the, what we have, don't we? What happens when you differentiate x over 4? You get a quarter, don't you? Now you'll probably see that cancel each other out anyway. You'll see in a second. 1 over, 1 plus x squared all over. And what can I change that into? 16 over. Uh, and the quarter's still there, isn't it? Okay. And then, what can I say here then? What's 1 divided by 16 plus x squared divided by 16? What can I do with the fraction? And what happens when I flip it? 16 over. Multiply by a quarter. And what does the quarter do to the 16? Or. Now, believe it or not, it actually can, it comes out exactly the same if, if you just chew an a equals four. All right, and if you're smart enough to remember the difference between the two of them when you can and when you can't, that's good for you. All right. So, this would be a. So if I say a is four, that'd be four, that'd be sixteen, and that works perfectly. All right. But for everything else, it's always a equals one. Otherwise, it won't work out for you. For you, right? I personally just always do a equals one, and I deal deal with the question anyway. But I get that that's a longer route, isn't it? Now look at the look at part one though. Part one's a part one's a weird one. Right. What can I turn this into? Would everybody be happy with that? And 3x minus 1 over 1. What's the a value? 1. 1 squared. Okay, so it's, when I differentiate this, it's going to be 1 over 1 squared. I don't have x. What do I have? So it's 3x minus 1 to be squared. What is 3x minus 1 to be squared? Nearly. 9x minus 2. You okay with that? And we have to differentiate that as well, don't we? 
What happens when we differentiate 3x minus 1? Okay. Now, what somebody said earlier was that's a. Uh, whatever agree, that's 9x squared. Sorry, 9x minus 2. And what's x minus 2 the same as? x minus 2 is? Okay. Common denominator. That okay with you as well? Fuse the fractions together. Anybody remember the trick? With, with, what's root 16 over 9? What is it? Which is 4 over 3. Treat them separately and you'd get x squared minus 9 over x. Turn that, shh, close that. Turn that upside down. Huh? So it's 1 over that. Turn the bottom upside down. What about that 3x minus 2? What do we do with that? Anybody know? Minus 3 over. That x cancels with that. And your answer is minus 3. That's a, not, that's a difficult one. I'll do that again later if I'm being honest. Alright, so what else have I added to the list there? I've added question 4. So, for tonight, lads, I would go for question three. Three, four. What was that? That was 11 and four, wasn't it? Three, four, uh, five, eight, ten, twelve, and thirteen. Exercise 7.7? Yeah.